we look at that uh, total journey of the, uh, the education stakeholders uh, from the day the students come into the university from admission to graduation and then also for uh, uh, alumni management and so on. So that, that this is a platform that is totally built on new technologies that allows the universities a full picture of the whole data management within the institute itself. Hello, my name is Maria Spees. I'm co-CEO of Holland IQ and we're here today at Holland IQ's Global Impact Summit in Egypt. I'm very, very happy to be speaking today with Mohammed Husa Medine. Mohammed is the VP, Vice President of Portfolio Development and Marketing for Nazij. Um, Mohammed, great to be here. Maybe you could just give us a little bit of information about you, your role and your company. Thank you very much, Maria, for having me. In fact, it's a pleasure to be here and to be with Holland IQ in this summit. Uh, well, I uh, have been in the education community since 1994, uh, with Nasij, in fact. Uh, I joined Nasij back in 1994 uh, as account executive. And uh, two months after I get married, and soon I realized that we are having a baby. <laughs> and working with the education sector is not something that is good for money, but it's good for my family as well. So I think... Uh, uh, I had the opportunity with Nasij to uh, be part of unique projects in the Middle East, uh, in Saudi, uh, in the Gulf, in uh, Dubai, uh, uh, the Emirates in general, in Kuwait, uh, Qatar, Bahrain, as well as in North Africa, uh, in Tunisia and uh, Morocco. Uh, and all of those are really things that I feel very uh, humbled to, but at the same time very proud of, of the of the uh, achievement that we have made together uh, with those customers, in fact. Mm, fantastic. Maybe you could sort of outline a couple of the challenges and opportunities that you see for education and education innovation in the region. Yes, you know, the education system is really a very conservative system. Mm. Uh, they have always been very conservative. Yes. And the wave of, of change is, is really a tsunami that is taking over everything with it. Mm. And I have the pleasure of, of seeing how the education community are trying to accommodate the change to their maximum so that they can really meet the expectations and, and the objectives of their existence. And uh, I see a lot of, of, of very proud examples by universities. Yes. Uh, you know, our focus at Nasij is really on the higher education. So my talk is really on the higher ed rather than on K-12. Yeah. So I saw a lot of examples of universities who have taken the uh, the, the measure to change and cope to the change and lead within their communities. I did a research about a year ago uh, uh, about higher education in the whole Middle East. We came up with about 900 universities and colleges um, and we tried to, th to see how they are reacting to change uh, and maybe the number that I will mention is not really rewarding but it is very uh, rewarding if you look at the uh, Middle East situation. We, we, we realize that maybe 1% of those 900 are really changing positively towards the accommodating all of the uh, what's happening in the EdTech uh, and the 5G technologies and the AI and the distant learning and so on. So uh, that, that's very, very unique uh, indeed. The other issue is, is the focus on student success and how, how, how governments are actually looking at it today you know i uh, i think one of the uh, very interesting thing that is happening now in in, in egypt and in, uh, in saudi and the emirates is that governments are taking a serious efforts towards making sure that the education system is working and is delivering on the requirements of the market and the labor requirements and so on so focusing on student success is a key uh, initiative that I think um, uh, the, the, the system, the whole system is looking at seriously with different, of course, different levels of attention and different levels of, uh, of um, success indeed. Yeah, I totally agree. It's, it's amazing to see how much innovation is occurring yes. in lots of institutions around the place yes, and, yes, and, yes. and that focus on student success, however, however student success is measured. So yes, it's, yes. It's, it's fantastic. Sure. What, what are some of the projects or initiatives that you're working on right now in this whole space? Yeah, so Nasij is a, a digital transformation company who's active in, in education and, and knowledge management. Okay. And my role now is to ensure that Nasij can grow and meet the change that's happening 
in the community around us. We are a company that's focused on, on the Middle East. So I am trying to uh, 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 lead the efforts of growing organically and inorganically within the company. Okay. So our efforts now, uh, we have started uh, less than two years ago, a, an effort to develop a, a platform for the higher education whereby we look at that a total journey of the, uh, the education stakeholders uh, from the day the students come into the university from admission to graduation and then also for uh, uh, alumni management and so on. So that, that this is a platform that is totally built on new technologies that allows the universities a full picture of the whole data management within the institute itself. So this is one, one initiative that we are working on. And the second is really uh, trying to f see how we can help the community, uh, the entrepreneurship and the startups in the community grow up and, and uh, we handhold maybe some of them so that we can together uh, meet the expectation of, uh, of the community uh, very well. So, so growing organically and growing inorganically through um, um, opportunities of, of acquisition or uh, investment and, and so on. So you're actually looking at both sides. You're seeing and supporting entrepreneurs and all those new ideas to provide solutions and you're working with universities um, helping them digitize across sure. their life cycle. Yeah, sure. So that's a unique position. There's, there's no way that one can stand alone uh, no. and this challenges. You know, we will have to hold hands together yes. and we will have to bring efforts together and make sure that we together can succeed and, and achieve the best to our students, to our children's yes. uh, brothers, sisters and colleagues. Uh, yes. Certainly. Yeah, fantastic. And in the lead up to the summit later on today, what are the sort of trends that you're hoping to talk about or hear um, or discuss? Yeah, well, I think I've always uh, been a fan of uh, making sure that institutions can be agile to meet the change that is faced today. And I uh, always call universities to try to offload any of their non-core uh, uh, okay. investments, the yes. things that are really outdated today, you know, putting investment in data centers or in, mm. on, on uh, in a huge infrastructure setup that will yes. ho pull the institution down as they move out to meet the changes. Yes. So moving to the cloud, uh, making sure that, you know, uh, uh, we utilize the cloud to interconnect with the ecosystem of education. Today, you cannot really offer a true experience to students unless you are in the cloud yes. because you have uh, all of uh, issues of integrations and, and uh, authentications and data, ac data yeah. access and so on. Yeah. So if you are in the cloud, these are minimized to the minimum. So mm -hmm. I, I would hope that uh, you know, today's summit and uh, the discussion that we'll have with people and in, in the very re rewarded people, in fact, uh, that we can focus on how we can make the uh, institutions, the education institutions in the Middle East more agile to meet the challenges of the future. Fantastic. It's Great. Mohammed, thank, thank you so much. It's thank been you. a pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you very much, Maria. Thank you. Thank you.